Good morning, everybody. It's a Monday, and it's raining. Bucky here in 9SWA. Well, it's been about a week since I've put a, uh, a video out. And today's video it has to do with Hammond, of course. But aside from operating, um, there's another part of Hamming. And that's uh, building stuff. And what you're looking at is what's going to be a base plate for my little brass key I use all the time. Now this piece here is slightly larger than the key itself. I was actually going to use this but it, it turned out to be too small. This is a quarter inch larger in total diameter so it's a quarter larger here, quarter larger here on each side as well. But this will give you an idea of about the size of the key that's going to be on the base plate. The reason you want a base plate is to add stability. Now that key is, is two pounds. Um, so I really don't need it, but it's always nice to have, if nothing else, for looks. Now this particular piece of wood came off of a uh, old, old uh, bookcase, so it's an antique piece of pine. And I decided to go with uh, chestnut stain. Now I tried oak. And it just, I don't know, it, it looked too much like the key itself. And I don't want that. I want the key and the base plate to be separate entities, but look good together. So that's why I've gone with the chestnut. Now I may go with a shellac or polyurethane or something like that to shine it up. I haven't decided yet. I've got to see how this looks by itself once it's stained on top of the key. Uh, and we'll go from there. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on pause and we'll stain it up real quick and take a look. Okay, well there's what it looks like thus far. I haven't wiped it off yet. I'm going to let that stain soak in. But you can see that the chestnut itself has got a really nice reddish tint to it. And I love the color of uh, chestnut stain, especially on pine. Um, now I've got a piece of oak here too. And I thought about going with oak, but there's two reasons I didn't. Um, first of all, the thickness of this. Um, those screws, I believe they're quarter inch. And to find quarter inch screws that are going to set in deep enough, it's just not practical. And also the expense. Now, as you know, solid oak is relatively expensive. And this is just too thin. Or it's not wide enough long enough fine, but it's not wide enough versus that piece of uh, Antique pine which I've got a lot of um, It's perfect. I've already got the holes pre-drilled. I already sanded it nice and smooth and uh, It's just gonna add the depth that I want of that key. It's really gonna look good I've already did a test piece and I love the way it looks so we're gonna wipe this down We're gonna finish the edges and we're gonna do the bottom as well and let's take a look at uh, the finished product so far. All right, well, there's what it looks like. Now, I have done the bottom and the sides, as I said. And I just love the color of this uh, stain on here. Um, what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to take the camera and the base plate, and we're going to set it up, set the key up on top of it, and see what it looks like. Okay, we're down at the ham shack, and um, here's the base plate once again. And we're going to take a look at our key. There's the. Uh, actually, I had that wrong. Here's the uh, the rear of it. That's what it's going to look like. I uh, I like that. I really like the color of that. Um, I was going to put something on here to shine this up. I think I'm going to just leave it as is. Oops, there we go. So now you can see my eyes. I'm going to leave it as is. Um, now here's the knobs I was talking about. And what these are is just uh, drawer knobs. That's all they are. And you can pick these up for, uh, you find them on sale for less than a buck sometimes. Uh, there's a wooden one. Again, that's pine. And uh, here's a brass one. Now, that's the, that's the tough part. I want to get rid of that white knob. So if I go with that, that looks really nice too. 
I like that. It, it's got a little darkening in the circle. Um, the only problem with that is it does become relatively slippery. Yeah, slippery. Let's try that again. And if I'm trying to send my, my hand, might slip off of it. But that is an option. Now here's the wooden ones. So I could stain that chestnut as well. But I've got two of them here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stain one chestnut and then I'm also going to stain one oak and just just for next bit uh, to see what it would look like. But before that, before I do that, you'll notice that this uh, the knob here, the, the button here, whatever you want to call it, is got a concave to it. I would like to do something similar to that on the wooden knobs. Not necessarily on this one. This one's got a little depression on it already. But on this one I would like to, and I've got plenty of woodworking stuff in uh, in the garage in order to do that. All it would have to do is, um, I think I would take my Dremel, bevel it out a little bit, and then hand sand it to a real nice smooth finish. And uh, actually it would, it would uh, make, not make this so big because <laughs> And I'll actually, this is a pretty big knob compared to the key, and I would like to get it close to the same dimensions as that. Uh, but that's going to be for another video. Right now, I just wanted you all to see what the base plate's going to look like with the key up on top of it. So I think it looks great. Um, I've got some pads here. I'm going to put on the bottom of it so it doesn't slip and uh, the base plate will actually be finished and it's just a matter of uh, I might I've got some brass over here as well um, I'm going to shine that key up a little bit and uh, see what the finished product looks like now that'll probably take a couple of days oh and I see I got a visitor here um, and that'll take a couple of days to do um, but once it's done I'll have another video and show you guys the finished product. For now, hey, thanks a lot for watching and all comments welcome as always. This is Bucky and I in SWA 73s for now, and I'll see you further down the log in a few days. Take care, my friends, and have a great day.